when you were you were living in New York and you stayed with Costelli, how long, or roughly? Well, after, see, at after that this time, show that, that, time, that everybody I disliked had, so much. I think if I had to do it all over again, you would have stayed with Costelli. Knowing Cassini. what I know now, kind of nonsense, you know, that we all say mm -hmm. to each other, I would have stayed with Leo. Mm -hmm. But at that time, you see, I've done the picture that we're talking yeah. about in, in the show, and I traded with Ron Davis. Mm -hmm. And so I was showing the picture, and it was going to go to Ron. And Leo said, I got a German dealer who's <laughs> going to pay $10,000 for that picture. And I realized, oh, God, I'm on my way, you know? You know, this is like what he's done with X, Y, and Z, mm -hmm. right? Push it into an auction, get a buyer, you know, mm -hmm. pad. You know, it, it's a setup in, in a certain sense. Yeah. It's business. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with it, you know? And I just felt I didn't want to go that way. This is what I was telling myself. Mm -hmm. I don't want $10,000 a piece for my paintings because the pr I feel the pressure on me is going to be too much not to do it any differently. Larry Rubin just happened to be opening a gallery mm -hmm. then, and the telephone rang, and yeah. it made it easy for me mm -hmm. to leave Leo's because Larry asked me to be in his gallery. So and I mean, he, was it was showing, no, he was showing jewels, too. I think he was showing everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, so these were the. That's only... when I started to know these guys, other than, you know, like and, and Clem too, mm -hmm. uh, when that change happened when oh, I left awesome. Leo's. So you you were exchanging studio visits with whom when you were showing it at, at uh, Larry Rubin's. Studio visits were very few and far between with anybody. Uh, but they became my friends because mm -hmm. I didn't have any other friends, you know, except maybe, you know, like I had new friends like John Chamberlain, mm -hmm. Neil Williams, you know, Ken. Mm -hmm. I knew him from Vermont, you know. Yeah. I mean, he was always very gracious. You'd go mm -hmm. up to his house and, and just stay. And that was the period when, when Jules Olitsky was teaching at Bennington mm -hmm. and Tony Caro was teaching at Bennington. Mm -hmm. That must have been pretty exciting having everybody together up there. Didn't I don't know way. how it felt in, in that sense. I mean, people would fight with each other, you know, and, and it's like a, as a, just simple jealousy, you know, simple jealousy, uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, confrontations. Uh, meaning, it, 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 was, it wasn't peaches and cream. You know, there was jealousies, mm -hmm. you know, who does Clem like more? That kind of jealousy. I mean, it and was Clem there. And Clem was very good at encouraging that sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, that Greenberg was a guy you wanted on your side, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Well, you yeah, didn't, you didn't I, want him as an enemy. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. Us. But as you know yourself, I mean, he could be thrilling in the studio. Well, as I'm saying, instinctively and intuitively, he pointed at something mm -hmm. which just clicked for me. He didn't say paint like this. Clem yeah. was not a painter. He couldn't paint his way out of a out of a broom closet. No, he couldn't. You know, but he, you know, he didn't know about that. But but well, then and then he and then he gave the stain to Lewis and Nolan which, and Olitsky. Which clicked wow. for them. Yeah, which clicked for them. for them. I mean, you've got to give him credit for, for well, being I smart enough to. I, do. I know you do. Yeah. I know you do. But the there's so much there's so much misinformation about Greenberg in the studio mm -hmm. about well, I think I'm, telling I'm people sure to all paint. of it is is true. <laughs> you because at some point it did happen. He took three people whose paintings were really not very good, showed him a stain, and bingo, got them out of the woods, painting wise, into what you're talking about now, mm -hmm. examples of like their most successful work. I never felt that I really was that much a part of them. Mm -hmm. I was younger. Quite which, a, bit, we, quite a which, bit younger. Which was uh, ego boosting, to say the least. And I like this because Frank told me this once, and I realized it was probably true, even though I'd never thought of it before. Frank said, you already had something before you ever met Greenberg. Those guys didn't. That makes you different. Not better, but different.